guys, Larissa Vesbicosi is here. Today I will show you how to make an infinity scarf. We will use one pound of pearl white merino wool, super chunky merino wool. You can buy it at our store and becosi.net or at Etsy store uh, becosi. And uh, it's only one pound and it will be enough for a beautiful infinity scarf. So let's get started. So let's get started. We have the pile of this super chunky pearl white merino wool. It's beautiful pearl white color. And uh, we will start with making a loop as we usually start. So this is the end. This is the walking yarn. So you're making a loop. Insert your hand inside. Grab walking yarn and pull it through. So this is our first stitch. And now we will make a chain of four stitches. Insert your right hand in the first stitch, grab walking yarn and pull it out. So we have two stitches now. And one more time we insert our hand, pull it out. This is our stitch number three. And one more time, number four. So we have four stitches. This is our first row. And now we will start knitting, hand knitting our infinity scarf. So the first row, the first stitch, you insert your head inside, pull it out. This is the first stitch of second row. Then you do the same in the first hole here. Pull it out. It will be your second. And uh, as I told you before, if you were watching my videos, I usually prefer to use the back uh, hole over here of the stitch because that would look more beautiful. So let's do this. We'll not go here. We will go here. Grab working yarn and pull it out. And then next one, it will be number three. So the back of the stitch, pull it out. And here will be number four. Grab working yarn and pull it out. So we have four stitches here. Now we will be working on row number three. And usually I am leaving the first stitch I am not knitting it, I'm just leaving it like that. And I will start knitting with the second one, because this way we will have a beautiful chain on the edges. And you will be doing the same from this side. So we'll start on from the second one. And this time you're inserting left hand, grabbing working yarn, pull it out. And the same with the fourth stitch. So we have four stitches here. And when we're going this direction, again, you are skipping, knitting the first stitch. You're going inside the second, grabbing working yarn, pull it out. Stitch number two and stitch number three. So we will keep doing this way until all yarn is gone. And then I will come back and show you how to cast off and actually to make it an infinity scarf. scarf. Okay, so we're almost done here. We have just a little bit of uh, working yarn left. It will be our last row. So again, see, I'm leaving the first stitch. I'm not knitting it. And this way I have this beautiful chain on the side of the scarf. And this will be our last, last row. Insert in your hand, grabbing working yarn, pull it out, and last time. Now we have four stitches, and we need to make it an infinity scarf. What is an infinity scarf? Infinity scarf doesn't have end or beginning. That's why it's infinity. Uh, to make it this way, we will need to fold this scarf that we have here together, and then we will cast off stitches together with the first row of the scarf. So here you see the we folded it like that and now we are grabbing our working yarn and the stitch here and we are grabbing first stitch on the first row of the scarf 
and then we are pulling this working yarn through this two stitches like that now we are grabbing the second stitch on the last row and next stitch on the first row together and working yarn goes through both of them like that the third stitch of the last row and third one of the first and pull it through and the last stitch of the last row uh, and last stitch of the first one together and here we're inserting working on here and pull it through so now we have this tail and what we're doing we're just making a knot basically we are inserting it here and then this working yarn the tail goes inside this stitch and then just pull it so we ended we cast it off now we have two tails here the beginning and the end what we're doing we are hiding them between stitches on the back of our beautiful infinity scarf like that and hide this one over here on another side like that see you cannot even see it now turn it upside inside out and here our beautiful infinity scarf isn't gorgeous beautiful so here is our infinity scarf and this is a uh, really uh, warm and nice looking scarf really great uh, addition to your wardrobe uh, especially in winter time those cold days that are coming and it would be a wonderful gift for anybody in your family for Christmas so if you're looking for something unusual really beautiful and warm think about uh, making such scarf for your loved ones or maybe buying it at our store uh, be cozy.net stay warm and be cozy